Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about uh, Lipsodium or Pi NaCl. Pi NaCl is a wrapper for sodium in Python. Sodium is used for cryptographical applications. Uh, I am going to show you how to encrypt an image and store it in disk and retrieve the data from the encrypted data using Pi NaCl functions. Uh, first of all, let's see how to install required modules. We need Pi NaCl and uh, OpenCV. So, to install, just navigate to your uh, uh, Python directory or just use pip and OpenCV Python. So, I already installed, so it will show uh, requirement already satisfied. If it is not installed in your system, it will be downloaded and installed automatically. So, OpenCV will automatically install uh, NumPy as it is heavily dependent on the NumPy array data type. Okay, I created a new file, a uh, new HM project. Uh, it's, uh, we have two uh, NACL modules, NACL utils and uh, NACL secret. So this is from the Pi NACL package that we have installed earlier. So let's first create a uh, function uh, for generating the key that we are going to need. The generate key method will generate a key and store it in a file. So I'm going to use key cl dot equals dot random. Secret, secret box key size. So this will generate a uh, random uh, key of the required size. Uh, I'm just going to write the file uh, with open. I'm going to call the file as secret dot bin. I'm going to write bytes to it. And let's write key to it. So I'm just writing key to the file. So this will generate a key and let's return a key. So let's get key from the file. So I'm going to open the file, the same file again. And we are going to read from it, read bytes from it. So it is going to return keys. And that's all. So I am going to create a box which is going to be uh, like a briefcase where you can put and get data. So we are going to create a box name box NACL dot secret dot secret box. This is the method which gets the argument key. So uh, let's generate the key once. Generate the key this this is the first, uh, so this will generate a key and store it in a file. So then let's create a data, random data that is going to be used in our test case. So let's call it random data. And I'm going to print the original data. Now I am going to encrypt the data. Encrypt the data. So, so we are going to call box dot encrypt method to encrypt the data. Okay, let's print this also. Encrypted data. 
then we are going to retrieve the data from the encrypted state. So box of decrypt will give us decrypted data. So I'm going to print this also. Decrypted Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's run this and see how it works. So you can see the original data that we gave to the box is random data and it encrypted the data into uh, a byte array which will not be readable unless we have the same key. So to prove that it, uh, we need the key, let me generate another key and show you. So, I am generating new key. It is going to be same initial dot uh, details dot random. Serial secret or secret box dot key size. So I'm creating a new random key here. I'm creating a new box. So this is a new box. I need this box to initial dot uh, secret or secret box with new key. So the box two with new key will not be able to encrypt that data which was actually encrypted by the uh, old key so if it will definitely throw an error let's see decrypt attempt box2 dot decrypt encrypted data and make it better. So as you can see the decryption attempt failed no, decryption attempt dot failed. Mm, you can see it is in line number thirty three here. So that's all for this uh, I initial intro. Let's uh, jump. So let's create a new file. New Python file and pickle intro. So with pickle, we can create objects of uh, serialized objects. Like I can create uh, any. Python object into a pickle object which can be uh, which is a byte array so we can encrypt and decrypt pickle object using pyenecl and by using pickle and pyenecl we can encrypt an image so let me quickly create An example. So let's call this as data some data and I'm going to create a pickle object from it. So let's call object pickle dot dumps data. This method will dump uh, whatever in this data uh, variable into this object. So let me print. So you can see it is it created a random byte uh, array. It's not random, it's actually a serialized uh, byte object created by pickle for us. So okay, let's create a let's read an image and create a pickle object from it. So for that I am going to use 
open CV. I'm going to read an image called let me quickly copy a file here, copy an image file here. Oh C two dot ID. So the name of the file is Rust RPG. Let's see the image. So wait key is mandatory for uh, showing the uh, showing images using the IM show method or else it will flash for a second and go away. So wait key 0 will wait for uh, any key press and then the window will be terminated. So yeah, you can see my old videos come in here. So let's uh, create a serialized object. Pickled image, which is going to be pickle dot dumps ng. So this will be the uh, serialized or pickled image, pickled data. So if I print, it will print a very long byte array so let me actually print the type of the object instead of the object itself so here I am going to print type of the image and let me uh, unpickle the data unpickle the image Speaking of loads, our pickled image. And let me print the type. And also, I'll just display the unpickled image also. You can see unpickled image and pickled image both are displayed here. So what happened here is an object of numpy uh, n dimensional array is converted into bytes here and then it is converted into uh, again numpy nd array here. So unpickled is numpy nd array pickled is bytes and the original data is numpy in the array. So whatever the input data type will be converted into uh, byte array and then the byte array can be converted back to the original uh, object using pickle. So yeah, quickly close this one and let's move on to encrypting the image. So we create a Python file encrypt.image encrypt image. A Python file import MCL dot details. So I'm going to read an image this but png I am going to show the image and I am going to pickle the image pickle the image is pickle dot dumps let's quickly create a method for getting the key I am going to read the previously saved uh, key from the file secret.bin is f dot I am going to return this key. So let's call this function get key. 
is going to create a box with this key and we'll do encrypt the pickle object using box.encrypt method to image so let's quickly save this uh, pickle image I'm going to just write the encrypted uh, image file to the disk which will be called as img.mil and I'm going to open the same file and read the data from that file so uh, you, you are not necessarily uh, have to write and read from file you can just use this object encr and uh, decrypt the data from it and just showing you how uh, what are possible like we can uh, hide the content of the image in a bin bin file uh, and use the secret dot bin key file to unlock the content in that file so yeah i'm just going to read the file once again now i'm reading the file as bytes data from the file so it's the decrypted data is going to be our box dot decrypt the third and we are going to pass data from file good then the decrypted image is going to be pickle dot loads so the output of uh, the decryption function will be a serial uh, pickle object so to convert the pickle object uh, or the byte array into our uh, required uh, numpy array i am going to use this uh, pickle dot loads method i am going to show the decrypted file decrypted We have to add weight key. Yeah, I missed something. This is the input image. Okay, we successfully encrypted an image and decrypted it and displayed it. So yeah that's how you do it uh, you can see here we have image dot bin if you open it it will not make any sense since it is uh, encrypted as well as it is serialized the object by from python uh, pickle library so it will not make any sense but we are reading the file and uh, decrypting the data in it using a key so in order to get data from this uh, img.bin we need this secret.bin key since we encrypted it using the secret.bin key we need to decrypt it using this key so i think i have uh, imported some knowledge about encryption using pyenecl yeah. to summarize what we have done so far we just uh, read the file, read an image file and uh, serialized using uh, pickle.dump and encrypted it using uh, pyenecl and stored the encrypted uh, image into the disk and then read the image from the disk and then decrypted the data using box.decrypt method and then uh, we just displayed that data so that's the end of it if you have any uh, queries or clarifications uh, please uh, think, leave in the comments and i will see you soon if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe thank you